I, I really want this to work out for him. Um, and uh, again, he's got obviously a great mind for the business. It, there's all these reports out there that he basically wants Shawn Michaels job long term with NXT and he's been hanging around at NXT. He's been offering advice and stuff. This is the just to refresh your memory, you guys, this is the same thing that happened two years ago in AEW, you know. Everybody was excited to see him. All the people that grew up watching him were taking pictures with him backstage. We had the Bucks and him posing backstage, him and Kenny backstage. Everything was great for the first year. And I've seen some of these WWE Stan accounts out there just, oh, look at this. AEW couldn't have this harmony in their life. Like, what are you talking about? Did you watch the first year he was in? Everything was rosy and fine. And all the, the heat happened much, much later. I really hope for him that he is at peace with this and that he can grow into this long career and offer advice. Cause again, he has a great mind for the business and everybody could benefit from him giving them their advice. I hope it doesn't blow up like it did in AEW and that he can actually, you know, mentor these talents long-term like it appears he wants to do. And like he wanted to do an AEW, you know, that was one of the things that set him off about when he was going after hangman. Cause he had read this quote where hangman said something about, not taking advice at some point in time and that he really harped on that in multiple interviews. Why wouldn't you take advice from the legends, you know? So he's been on this kick for a while that he wants to mentor people and I hope it works out for him. You hear a little bit here and there though, from insiders that that talent back there switching a little bit of gears here that they don't listen to Arn Anderson, Dean Malenko, Jerry Lynn and the likes either. So there could be some small truths there. And I think Mm -hmm. if punk would hypothetically take over NXT, he probably wouldn't be wrestling anymore. So maybe the kids would be more apt to listen to him and he doesn't have to interject himself into a storyline. I mean, if he was able to parlay this and do that NXT job, that is so many years down the road. Sean's not, he's in his 50s still. I mean, he's going to be around. He has no inclination to retire anytime soon from what we've heard. So this is a this is him trying to set up a long-term job that is probably over a decade into the future, to be honest with you. So, you know, we'll see. 